good morning all today's poem is harvest it's from your sixth lesson the poem name is harvest so what do we learn in this lesson what do we learn in this lesson let's see look at the first paragraph time to warm up column have you ever chanced to see the farmer growing crops in the field he is the giver of food to the people to all practical purposes he gets up early in the morning and goes to his fields the farmer has many kinds of works to do he plows his fields he sows the seeds he waters the fields regularly he has to take care of the crops he has to protect them against hail and frost here is a poem on harvest let's read so what are the things a farmer do if you have seen a farmer you might have observed his work he is considered as the giver of food to the whole world to all practical purposes whatever has to be done in the world it is possible only with the food provided by the farmer if you don't get the food we cannot do anything because only food gives the energy to do anything so he is the giver of food to the whole world and such a great person he is so what is his routine how he works he gets up early in the morning and goes to his fields the morning itself he gets up and goes to the fields the farmer has many kinds of works to do in the field he gets several works to finish what are the works he gets he plows his fields plowing means digging the earth with a wooden tool is called as plow so he plows his fields he digs his fields he sows the seeds what he does with the plows are the rows he plowed he puts the seeds into them putting the seeds into the earth is called as sowing s o w i n g sowing so he sows the seeds into the earth then he waters the fields regularly so what else he does he waters the fields regularly that means he provides the water to all the crops grown in his field he has to take care of the crops and he guards the crops from morning to evening all the days until they are grown completely he keeps on watching the growth and he keeps on protecting the crops he has to protect the crops against hail and frost what can affect the crop what can happen to a crop which is grown in his field it can be affected with the hail stones and frost hail stone me the big frozen icy balls falls from the sky at the time of thunder and storm okay they are called as hail stones so sometimes hail stones can affect the crop and even the frost frosting means the frozen things when the winter is too much the cold is too much even the crops can go spoiled at the time also he guards his crop and takes care of the crops in order to protect them so all these works are done by a farmer so let's see what are things he else does let's read the poem i saw the farmer plow the field and row and row the furrows grow i saw the farmer plow the field and hungry furrows grow i saw the farmer sow the wheat the golden grain in sun and rain i saw the farmer sow the wheat in shining sun and rain i saw at first a silvery sheen then line on line of living green i saw at first a silvery sheen then lines of living green the living green then turned to gold in 30 50 100 fold the living green then turned to gold in mercy's manifold so this is the poem you get here to be explained so it's about a farmer's work harvest means the season of getting the crops from the fields to home or cutting down of the crops 
at the at its maturity when the crops grow fully then they are cut that cutting procedure is called as harvesting so let's learn the meaning of the poem let's take up the first paragraph i saw the farmer plow the field and row and row the furrows grow i saw the farmer plow the field and hungry furrows grow so let's learn the meaning of the paragraph I saw the farmer plow the field and row and row the furrows grow so the poet is telling that he had seen a farmer plowing the field plowing means already i told you making uh, or digging the earth how he is digging the earth and row on row means one by one rows are created by him the lines when he plow the land in the rows or the lines are created row on row one by one the furrows grow furrows means a long narrow trench made in the ground by a plow means the lines the lines are more many more they are growing one by one as he went on plowing the field i saw the farmer plow the field and hungry furrows grow so what i had seen i saw the farmer the agriculturist plowing the field and hungry furrows grow means the furrows are looking like hungry very fast or they are getting prepared they are growing let's look at the second paragraph i saw the farmer sow the wheat the golden grain in sun and rain i saw the farmer sow the wheat in shining sun and rain so let's look at the second paragraph's meaning so what poet is telling further he is telling that i saw the farmer sow the wheat so what is sown sow means putting the seeds into the uh, plowed earth so inside of the earth we put some seeds that's called as sowing so what the poet has seen the poet has seen the farmer sowing the wheat seeds the grain wheat is putting into the earth the golden grain how the wheat looks like what color the wheat looks like it looks like a golden brown color golden grain it is called as in sun and rain what are the times the poet has sown the wheat even in the sun and rain sometimes it used to be very hot sunny days even at that time also he had sown the wheat sometimes it used to be a very rainy season very much rain used to take place even at that time also the poet has seen the farmer sowing the seeds of wheat into the earth i saw the farmer sow the wheat in shining sun and rain so what i had the poet had seen he had seen the farmer sow the wheat in shining sun and rain even in the hot sun also and and even in the rainy time also he had sown the wheat grains now let's look at the third paragraph i saw at first a silvery sheen then line on line of living green i saw at first a silvery sheen then lines of living green now let's look at the meaning of the paragraph i saw at first a silvery sheen after sowing the seeds i went on watching the plowed land the land where the seeds were sown what i saw first after sowing for the first time i saw a silvery sheen from the earth inside there was a silvery sheen means a shining surface started growing up it was in silver color in the beginning the silver kind of the silver line started coming up then line on line of living green first it was looking silver color later on i could see the living green plants coming out of the earth the silver sheen turned into living green in a green color uh, in a green color 
द प्लांट स्टार्टेड कमिंग अप ऐसा अट फर्स्ट ए सिल्वर इज शीन देन लाइन्स ऑफ लिविंग ग्रीन सो वॉट आई हेव सीन लेट्स रिकॉल ही हैड सीन ए सिल्वर इज शीन ए सिल्वरी सर्फेस अ सिल्वरी लाइन इन द बिगिनिंग लेट रन ही सॉ द ग्रीन प्लांट्स कमिंग आउट लिविंग ग्रीन्स इट्स कॉल इट इज ही इज कॉलिंग द प्लांट्स एस अ लिविंग ग्रीन वाई इट्स कॉल्ड एस लिविंग ग्रीन बिकॉज द प्लांट्स हैव लाइफ बिकॉज दे आर ग्रोइंग वी नो दैट ग्रोथ इज अ फ्यूचर ऑफ ए लिविंग बींग इज एंड इट सो इन दैट वे द लिविंग ग्रीन इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन द फील्ड्स लेट्स लुक एट द लास्ट पैराग्राम द लिविंग ग्रीन देन टर्न टू गोल्ड इन थर्टी फिफ्टी हंड्रेड फोल्ड द लिविंग ग्रीन देन टर्न टू गोल्ड इन मर्सीज मैनी फोल्ड नाउ द सरप्राइजिंग थिंग इज हैपनिंग इन द फील्ड वॉट इज हैपनिंग द लिविंग ग्रीन देन टर्न टू गोल्ड वाट कलर द लिविंग ग्रीन टर्न टू नाउ नाउ इट इज चेंजिंग इट्स कलर द लिविंग ग्रीन प्लांट्स आर चेंजिंग देर कलर what color they are changing themselves into they are turning themselves into gold color not only one or two greens are there they are in 30 50 100 folds first i saw one then some 10 then 100 and 50 and 100 and folds 30 50 100 and folds so many foldings of plants i could see the living green then turn to gold in mercy's manifold so now the living green then turn to gold in mercy's manifold with the kindness of the god they the green turn to gold because the wheat should be in golden color to get a perfection so now we see the green turning into gold color and that too with a mercy by the god they are multiplying only one seed was sown in the beginning for a plant now they are hundred in each plant so that is called harvest harvesting the crops when they are multiplied and then they are ripened then the harvesting takes place so this is the poem let's look at the new words furrows a long narrow trench made in the ground by a plow that means plowing the earth or digging the earth with the help of the plow then plow means turn up the earth with a plow especially before sowing that means it's a tool which makes the earth soil to come up and go down row things in a more or less straight lines hundred fold hundred times as greater or as much now let's look at the question answers part time to answer who does i refer to in the poem in the poem i refer to the poet the second question what was the farmer doing the farmer was plowing the land third question what did the poet see at the first the poet saw the silvery surface coming out of the earth a silver lines emerging from the earth what did it turn to gold the living green plants turn to gold after some time next main state whether the following statements are true or false the farmer was sleeping in the field it's wrong the farmer was working in the field second the farmer was hungry no farmer farmer was not hungry the plants were hungry which were growing very rapidly the words living green mean green plants that grow yes it's correct living green means the green plants which have life and they are growing fourth the words silvery sheen means shining like silver it's true the f- next the farmer got a hundred pieces of gold it's wrong the farmer got hundred pieces of wheat the grain next the farmer was blessed with a good harvest yes he had a good harvest by getting the multiplied grains 
Now, time to spell well. How to spell the words? Let's look at farmer. The first word is farmer. Second word, plow. Third word, field. Fourth word, furrows. Fifth word, golden. Sixth, sixth word, sixth word, wheat. Seventh word, shining. Eighth word, green. Ninth word, turned. Tenth word, gold. Next, let's turn the page and see whatever things to be done in the next page. Here we see time to write. Pick out the rhyming words from the poem and write in the boxes that are provided. So what should be done here? We should pick out the rhyming word from the poem and to write down in the given columns. The first column gets the word row and grow. These are the words we get in the textbook or in the poem. The next word grain. For that rhyming word is rain. Grain, rain. Next, sheen. Sheen gets two rhyming words for this. Sheen, green, line. Next, gold and fold. Gold and fold. Next words, gold and manifest, manifold. Gold and manifold. So, these are the words you get as rhyming words. Now, there is one more exercise part. Time to do. What to do? What you are going to do? Let's check out with the exercise part. Here, how to grow fruits and vegetables in your own garden. Here, some pictures are given and some details are given about growing some fruits and vegetables. What you can do is, prepare your plot. The plot is the part of the garden that you plant the vegetables. If you need to get a rake and scrape all the rocks that are on your plot. So, make a place for growing the vegetable or mark a place for growing the vegetables and you have you get some rake and scrape and you need some tools to remove all the stones and the unwanted things from buy seeds from the local merchant so you get seeds to sow that can be bought from a local merchant who are nearby third step is plant the seeds you bought remember to cultivate daily so whatever seeds you bought you plant them inside of the earth, make a small hole and uh, put the seeds and cover with the thin layer of the soil. Then <clears throat> every day you should take care of, you should water them. You should put the minimum amount of water on the part where you close the seeds. Then what is the fourth step? Water your seeds every other day. So every alternative day you need to water your plants. Wait to pull them up. After some time they start growing up, you need to wait. Let them grow and after some time you can relish on them. When they are fully grown, they start giving yieldings. They start providing all the vegetables, fruits, green leaf vegetables and all. So then you can have them. You can relish them. So this is the way we need to cultivate the habit of growing the vegetables and the things. It helps us to reduce the pollution. Also it increases our health level. So, this is the poem, children. You need to learn it. You need to read the poem. Then go on learning the question-answers part. Thank you.